All right, this one's gonna be on fixing some shortcut issues uh, with Play on Linux. So if you, you know, made a new user or maybe you uh, have a new hard drive and you're trying to set up your old um, Play on Linux uh, files and folders and everything that you had before, and you just want to drag and drop it in there, yeah, you can actually just drag and drop it in um, your new home folder, or you can actually sim link it like I did here. So this one sim linked it to my. Uh, uh, other hard drive here, right? You can see here, this is the folder. And I just same linked it to my home folder here. Um, now, the thing with this is that, yeah, it will actually boot up fine. Let me see an example here. Let's open it up here. It will actually detect like everything besides uh, one issue here, right? It will detect all my old games and, and uh, software and everything. But once you go and try to run it here, look at this, run it. Uh, it won't run, right? Now, why is that? Mainly because the shortcut that uh, it imports is that it's pointing to your old user or the old path that um, you know you created or something like that. If you had like the same username or something like that, then there'll be no issues. But if you create like a new username or maybe you um, brought it to your sister's, your friend's house or whatever it is, um, they probably have a different username. And to fix that, um, all you gotta do is this here. I'll show you in a minute here. Um, if you go to shortcuts here, you want to find the original name of it, right? So let's open one file here. Uh, we'll open our text editor here. But you see here, this is like my old username, and it points it to um, that path, right? Right here, it points it to that path. Now my current username is. Um, let's see here, who am I? Uh, Right, it has the little ant here, and this one has the core, so it's a different username. And uh, the way that you fix this is pretty simple. What is the command for that? Play on Linux. All you gotta do is uh, find out your old name here. So this is the old name, and this is my current name, the new user, or whatever it is. You know, if you bring this to your friend's house and you want them to use the same thing, all you gotta do is. Um, you know, get the uh, username of that uh, device or hard drive or partition that you want to use it with. And all you do is copy this command and uh, edit to uh, your liking, right? So we'll copy this here. Uh, we'll close out of that. We don't need this up top anymore. And all you do is paste this in, really. Um, actually, let's go back to our home folder. You can see the whole line here. You paste this in, and all you do is edit out your. Um, uh, what was that uh, your old name? So this is your old name here in this line, and this is our new name, right? So we just basically uh, swap out the core, and then we add in the uh, ant here, and that's it. You just hit enter, and now it will actually change everything on all our shortcuts uh, before. So let's do here. What was that here? Ranger. So all the shortcuts in here now has on that name now right look at that we changed it this and this and it applies it to all the uh, shortcuts in there right any of the shortcuts in here will be changed and now when we run this here I think you have to like reload this so let's reload this here uh, yes and we'll start up um, or play the on Linux um, program again and now if I open this program I know it will work look at this because we pointed to the correct path this time or an existing path I'll say all right and here we go come on boot up and now I can use my uh, at fine reader right here all right I still use this program to um, what was that do the OCR hang uh, still the best one I'll say I ever used anywho that's how you fix the issue of the shortcuts having the wrong uh, username path and pretty simple I'll post you the link in the description or I mean the, the notes in the description for the commands and everything that'd be it for this one